happened to like that little, you know, that top handle. Look at that. That's giving me <laughs> rich auntie vibes. <laughs> everybody welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here it is simply welcome to my channel i am rochelle and today i'm going to show you guys a couple of items that i purchased from the goodwill i was about to say, <laughs> i was about to say the family dollar no we don't have nothing from the family dollar not in this one not in this one so let's start over we're gonna go with the goodwill we're gonna go with family thrift value village ASOS, we even got something from Fashion Nova. So if you guys want to see how I style these amazing items, keep on watching. All right, guys. So the first item we're going to talk about is this amazing, fabulous, sexy green dress. This dress was purchased from ASOS. This dress was $11. This dress was an additional 25% off, but this dress was also a final sale item, meaning that if you got it and you didn't like it, you was just simply stuck with it. So I lucked out on this one. It is amazing. It's it's kind of like it's slinky or yeah i think they call it slinky like a slinky fabric so um it doesn't it's not a super thick item it's not lined or anything like that so if you have imperfections like i do if you get something like this i'm definitely going to encourage that you wear a little bit of shapewear um or not it's completely up to you so yeah let's get into the details so we have the asymmetrical neckline and then of course on this side we have a sleeve so we have business on the right and we got party on the left baby <laughs> and then of course we have the keyhole neckline which i absolutely love this dress also kind of cinches you in you know i'm always talking about being cinched in so this dress absolutely positively does the job um it also fits completely um flat on the back which i absolutely love and then of course when we get into the back of the dress here is the split the infamous split that i constantly talk about the only adjustment that i would have made to this or the only alteration that i would have made to this is just simply taking it to a seamstress and again having the split sewn up but that's it other than that i have absolutely no complaints about this one i have no complaints so yeah this is going to be item number one <laughs> all right guys so the next item that i purchased was from value village this was two dollars eighty cents yes you heard it here first <laughs> two dollars eighty cents now i know it's given you know grandma is at you but i'm going to show you guys how i style this jacket and when you put it all together it looks absolutely fabulous so basically what i did is added this blazer to a uh like a lavender well not lavender but a teal color crop top that i already have along with some high-waisted pink uh fitted pants and it absolutely looked cute so it was kind of like my play on color blocking what i what i love about this jacket it is it is that it is extremely lightweight so it's not something that's going to be too hot in the summertime you very soft it has a very light pastels along with the cream uh, the cream background so you can wear this with a lot of different items again it is very lightweight I absolutely love it and so yeah this is the second item that I purchased <laughs> is actually a bikini top that I purchased from ASOS. This was actually on sale for $4.80 with an additional 25% off. So yes, it was a part of that uh, that final sale I was telling you guys about. So yeah, I purchased this. I purchased this with the intent of wearing it as a bralette. It's absolutely adorable. It has a closure back. It has the adjustable straps. Uh, so it does adjust in the back. And then it has the, uh, it is single lined and it does have the deep V in the front. And I love it, it's so cute. Again, I did pair this with a blazer because that was my intent. I wanted something really sexy, but also, you know, somewhat sophisticated. So it's all about your, you know, the, t the look that you're going for. 
So yeah, again, $4.80 uh, with an additional 25% off. And yes, it was a part of the final sale. All right, guys, so this next, the next item is this fabulous, amazing, gorgeous green jacket. This jacket was brought to you by Value Village. Yes, Value Village, a fabulous thrift store that I shop at frequently. This jacket was only $2.80, and I absolutely love it. Um, it has the three quarter inch uh, sleeves on it, lightweight. Now, what I did to give you guys an idea, other than the fact that I will show in the next slide uh, how I put everything together, I kind of left the uh, bikini top under here to give you an idea of what the look looks like together. It is so cute, it's so sexy, but it still gives you enough. Uh, it's, it's still conservative enough where you can wear this to, you know, dinner, girls, night out, things like that. So yeah, this jacket is not, a, it is not a structured jacket. So it is kind of like, um, to me looking at it, it is a classic jacket, but it's also on the lines of what I would consider maybe a little bit of 80s style. It has a little bit of a big, thicker shoulder pads that you would find in the 80s style blazers. It is a little bit thinner, but the reason why I would go with more of it leaning more towards the 80s style is because it is a little bit boxy. But the good news is that look is completely in this season. So yeah, this is definitely a very sophisticated look. <laughs> And the next item that I purchased is this amazing, gorgeous, structured green bag. Guys, this bag was $4.90. But when I got the bag home, I happened to look in it and it had a card in the bag and this card is made by this purse is made by a company called Lorenzi L-O-R-E-N-Z-I I just happened to look the bag up I just I just somebody just told me to look it up this bag is worth over a thousand dollars but I saw that it was selling on uh, resellers or stores like eBay uh, I think I might have saw one on Macari and then I want to say Poshmark. And so when I realized the bag had that much value, I was like, yeah, I won't, I won't be selling this. This is definitely going to be uh, something that I'm going to keep in my collection. But it is just a gorgeous bag. Uh, it did come with a, a longer strap. But I just happened to like that little, you know, that top handle. Look at that. That's giving me <laughs> rich auntie vibes. It's giving me rich auntie vibes. The structure is amazing. The leather, I wish you guys could feel this because it feels like butter on here. I absolutely love it. It is so cute. It does have the hard metal, the, the uh, gold hard metal um, hardware on here. So let me try that again. It does have, <laughs> it does have the hard wear that is gold that is actually metal that was a mouthful but i got it done right okay and so i also love the fact that it does have this uh the security latch on here it goes this way so you know even if you don't latch it together you know you're not gonna have um you know it's not gonna just come open by itself so I absolutely love this bag. I think it's so cute. And yes, I would absolutely pair this bag with that olive green. And I know throughout this video, the theme is just olive green. I mean, maybe when I was shopping, I was just thinking about money. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it just coincidentally, a lot of things in the video just happened to be uh, like that olive green tone, but we just gonna go with it, okay? We just gonna think about money and we gonna go with this green, okay? So yeah, this bag is so adorable. Let me try to, you know, while I'm sitting up here talking about it, it has this uh, easy latch, you know, but anyway. Yeah, so this bag is so cute. Uh, so sophisticated, I love it. <laughs> get into this next item, but before we get into it, I have a disclaimer. I cannot be held responsible if you wear these pants, anytime before 8 p.m. and you live in the south it is not my responsibility because you just might burn up because these just so happen to be <laughs> these just so happen to be uh faux leather but you know what i'm as for me in my house we gonna rock these we gonna rock them after 8 p.m but we still gonna rock them right okay so these were purchased from fashion nova on sale i think i might have gotten these uh probably 
I want to say around maybe six months ago, but I've never had an opportunity to wear them. What did I tell you? They fit so cute. They are amazing. And they're so soft. The inside is literally like a legging. They Now these are cropped. They come right to your ankle. They are so soft. They are so flattering. And the waist is not a, it's not a super high waist. Uh, and I think it's because they put a belt or they belted this. So they, it has a ruching around the back. And then it has kind of like the fold up. Oh, let me just take that off. It has the fold up on the front. But well, I mean, I wouldn't like I was saying, uh, joking earlier, um, they are comfortable. They're not super hot. But again, because I live in the South, this is just simply not something uh, that I would wear before eight o'clock. Unfortunately, living in the South or living in Houston, it really does not start to cool off here until 8 p.m. And so that being said, because if you're trying to get into hot girl summer, hot girl summer does not start into Houston until between the hours of 8 p.m. and 3 a.m. Anytime before that, it's just, it's, it's not gonna work. So that's just a, a warning for those who, you know, want to come to the H and party with us. It, it don't jump off until after 8 p.m. Oh, well, it don't jump off for me. I'm just going to say for me until after <laughs> until after 8 p.m. But yeah, so these are absolutely gorgeous. They are so soft. As you see in the clip, they fit amazing. If you're able to get something similar in this style, you cannot go wrong with this. So yeah, these are highly recommended. All right, guys, so this next look is this adorable blazer. I purchased this blazer at Value Village. This blazer was $2.60. And um, I actually purchased this blazer at the same time that I purchased this adorable little bralette. Uh, you see that it does zip up the back. Now this bralette was $2.60, but I noticed that it still had a new tag on it. Now, where, whoever donated this, they only paid a dollar for this a dollar and then I paid two dollars and change for it but it, it's whatever it's it, it's still cute so yeah I purchased this now I paired these two together with the leather the faux leather pants that I was uh previously talking about paired this together and it is so cute I'm not really sure if you can tell uh with the lighting but this has a beautiful purplish maybe um I want to say like a magenta pink metallic uh metallic fibers along with the turquoise blue it is absolutely amazing and yes i would absolutely wear this despite the weather Oops. the lining in it is actually very pretty uh lightweight so you can definitely get away with this the thing i would probably change out in this blazer are the buttons they are kind of plastic i would definitely put something a little bit more fancy on the jacket definitely would change it out and put a gold button or well, two gold buttons on here and it actually also has the uh, the same button style on the blazer as well. This is not a blazer that I would wear closed. I would absolutely wear it open so we can show that gorgeous magenta uh, bandeau top. Well, not it's not a bandeau top, but the bralette. It is so adorable. It's a beautiful look. And uh, I don't think that you could go wrong for something like this. <laughs> purchased from Value Village and it was six dollars. I absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it. Uh, it has the mesh details on the bottom. It is actually sheer almost all the way around until you get to the back closure details. It does have the traditional closure. Uh, it has a total of four rolls which makes it adjustable. The only thing that I did not like about this is that it buckles. So it does have the buckling um, if you were to purchase something like this, I would strongly encourage that you not tuck this in. I actually tucked this into the pants initially and it was not as flattering. And then of course, when I pulled, you know, when I untucked it, it was a lot more flattering and it showed a lot of the waist detail. The bottom part does cinch you in at the waist. And then of course the cups on the bralette, oh, the cups on the bustier, they give you the support that you need and they just kind of push the girls up and just have you looking fabulous. Uh, it has the traditional adjustable straps as any bra. This is absolutely something that I would wear by itself, but provided that um, I'm, you know, that I wear it with something that does not 
cause that that buckling that you guys see on the video um and i just basically paired this with a pair of uh fold leather pants that i had previously purchased a while back from asos um which i thought that was a super cute look and yeah so yeah this is the bustier that you wanna act take a low with the pop wipe the paint away you see and it's tighter than a virgin like a brown say i love when you give in i love when you don't huh? hit me with the threesome and sometimes you won't huh? you told me don't with no as you know now nah, you got it yeah you got it babe. okay guys so this next item is an actual scarf that i purchased from Fam family thrift center outlet this scarf was only a dollar 75 and yes, I know that it does appear to be a shirt in the clip and I'm gonna show you guys how to tie this. So number one, this is a pretty large substantial scarf. So if you have something like this or if you find something like this, I would definitely encourage that you keep it because not only does it go from a scarf, it can also be a sarong. Um, you can wear this with several items. I can definitely wear this with that uh, that green bandeau top that we that I was showing you guys earlier. Well, not the bandeaus. I keep calling it a bandeau top, but it's a a bikini top or a bralette, which however you choose to to wear it. But anyway, so yeah, with this scarf, I just took it, I doubled it up, I make sure that everything is neat and aligned. And guys, this is a super easy hack. So what you're gonna do is just fold your large scarf in half like this. You are literally gonna take the scarf, you're gonna put one part under your arm, you're gonna bring it around, and you're gonna put the other part over your arm. Um, and then you're going to simply just tie a knot. Don't tie it too tight because we may have to adjust it. So you tie a knot, and then whatever access you have left over, you're gonna take the ends. So you see that I have the ends left and you are simply going to tie those together like this. So tie them together and so tie everything together like that. And then I would, I would probably go ahead and secure this part and then you're gonna tuck that in. Now we're gonna go back here and we're gonna work on this part. So yeah, we're gonna work on this part. So we're gonna now take this and make it a little bit tighter. We're gonna tie it. And you will have something that looks like this. Now in the clip, you see that my waistline is exposed. For those ladies who like a little bit more modesty, if you're not as comfortable, you can wear this look as well. You can wear this with a blazer. You can wear this with a tank top. You can wear this look as well. So uh, this is an all-inclusive channel. This channel is for everybody, guys. I've been on both sides of the table. I've been 100 pounds overweight and I've been the size that I am now, I've been smaller. So I've been on, I've sat literally on, I've, I sat at the head of the table. I sat on the side of the table. I sat behind the table, so under the table. <laughs> so I've been on every side in terms of weight. So I do like to at, at least attempt to be all inclusive in my channel. So yeah, I, I kind of went on a rant, but you know. So yeah, so after you get your, your knot tied and you the top of it tied, what I like to do is make one more tie. Again, don't tie it too tight. And you are then gonna take the excess fabric and you're just gonna kind of tuck it in and wrap it around, tuck it in, wrap it around. And then I like to just kind of go and make it look a little bit more neat. And then you have this cute, adorable blouse. I actually paired this with those green pants or with the green pants that you guys see. Those green pants were also a dollar twenty-five, no, a dollar seventy-five because again I did purchase those on a Friday. So this was, I think I said a dollar. If I said a dollar twenty-five, my my mistake. This was a dollar seventy-five. The pants were a dollar seventy-five, and then the gold chain belt that you guys see that was three dollars ninety-nine cents. That gold chain belt was from the Goodwill. Okay, so yeah. So you guys have a cute little scarf hack. 
I hope that you all incorporate this in your wardrobe. Yeah. The peak broke down, go book me a ride, don't give me bad size Couldn't fall enough time, go build up my slime, get back to the G's Yeah, sorry about coming on time Late night putting in time Late night drinking with slime Look at this money on mine Check out my drip on mine Check out your drip, no shine Check out your clip, no cry, yeah. I want to thank you so much for watching. This is going to conclude today's video. If you have not had an opportunity to subscribe, please go ahead and do so now. Also, if you do not mind, please share this video and hit the thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.